In this example, we have a 3D cavity that we wish to machine. First thing you need to do is to define a suitable boundary. So I'm first going to group select all of the surfaces that make up the cavity. I can now go ahead and choose to create a selected surface boundary. I just hit apply. The boundary will be created. However, we can see that it is far from suitable. So I'm going to choose to create a different type of boundary. So if I go into boundaries again and choose to create a contact point boundary, I need to insert the surfaces into the boundary and then accept. So we can see a boundary has been created along the top edge of the cavity surfaces. I can now go ahead and program a toolpath. The strategy I'm going to use is a steep and shallow finish. I'm going to leave the spiral option on and choose step down 2 millimeters. For the shallow region, I'm going to choose a step over of 2 millimeters also. I'm just going to ensure the block is calculated and then I can go ahead and calculate my toolpath. If I turn off the leads and links, you can see that a smooth, continuous 3D offset style toolpath has been created to machine this 3D cavity. Using our contact point boundary, the toolpath has been generated based on an offset distance from the contact point of the tool to the boundary.